Okay, so we're going to have a look into a minimum variance unbiased estimator of a distri discrete distribution. And the discrete distribution we're interested in today is the Bernoulli distribution, which is given by this formula. And the x's are, are random variables, which are 0, 1, 2, 3. They're all integers. And our parameter is probability between 0 and 1. And we're interested in the kramer rayo lower bound. So that's the minimum variance unbiased estimator of this variable of this parameter p. And one of the main rules for kramer rayo low bound is that all the variables must be independent of each other. OK, now the formula we're interested in is enclosed in this. Now, it looks a little bit intimidating, but if we're going to break it down. I'm going to show you how to do each part. So first of all, we need the log of f of x given p. So let's do that. f of x given p is our probability mass function. So let's just write that down. So our PMF is basically the formula for our distribution. p to the x, 1 minus p to the 1 minus x. Then you can see we take the log next. So the log of f of x given p. So the log of this is x times the log of p. And then as it's multiplied, we then, as we're taking the log, we can now add by log properties. And then it's 1 minus x times the log of 1 minus p. OK, so that's taken the log. Now what we're looking for is to take the derivative with regards to the parameter p. So log of p, we can take the derivative of that, and the log of 1 minus p, we also know how to take the derivative of that. So the derivative with regards to p of the log of f of x given p. So log of p is 1 over p, taking the derivative, multiplied by x gives us x over p. Then add so plus. Now, for taking the derivative, the derivative of this, we have 1 minus p in the denominator as its log, and the 1 minus x stays in the numerator. Now, just be a little bit careful here. When we're taking the log, or use it, sorry, taking the derivative of log of 1 minus p, we've got this minus sign, so therefore we need to flip these signs. So 1 minus x becomes now x minus 1. So we can write it like that. Okay. So now we've got to be making this a little bit more uh, manageable because we've now got to find the expectation of this term here. So let's turn this into one fraction. So if we make our denominator p times 1 minus p, now we know we're on the right track here because our Bernoulli distribution, we've got the variance of that is p times 1 minus p. So this is looking like we're on, a, on the right track. So now to get this 1 minus p here, we have to multiply this by 1 minus p. So x times 1 minus p. And then we're going to add p multiplied by this. OK. Now it's still a little bit messy, but let's see if we can foil this out and see if we can make some improvements. So p1 minus p, so x minus xp, plus px, and then p times minus 1, that's minus p. Okay, now here, look, we've got a minus xp and a plus px. Well, we can rewrite that as xp if we like. So therefore, these two terms are going to cancel out. So then we get x minus p over p times 1 minus p. OK, now we need to take the square of this and then find the expectation because we got the square here. So all we're going to do now is just turn that into a squared. So now we're left with 
x minus p squared. Let's just make that a little bit tidier. And then p squared, 1 minus p squared. So that's where we're up to so far. So let's take this off the board. See if we can make any advance on that. Okay, let's take the expectation of this. So now we need the expectation of x minus p squared over p squared, 1 minus p, all squared. So e of x minus p squared. Well, we know that the mean of the Bernoulli distribution. So let's just take this off the board here. We've got that all taken care of. So we know that the expectation of x in this one is p. So here we've got e times x minus p, which we can also call mu. Now this is a formula for the variance. So e of x minus mu squared is the same as the variance. Now, as we're dealing with the Bernoulli distribution, we know that the variance is p times 1 minus p. So we can rewrite this as the variance of x divided by p squared 1 minus p, all squared. OK, so the variance of x we know is this. So this equals p times 1 minus p, all, sorry, not squared. So I'll make that neat. And then divide this by p squared, 1 minus p, all squared. Now we can simplify this off. So this p and this p squared will cancel out. So that will cancel and that will just become a 1. And then 1 minus p, 1 minus p squared. This will cancel out, that become a 1, and that will also become a 1. So therefore, our expectation of our derivative with regards to p of the log of f of x given p, which is our probability mass function, and that quantity is squared. Just check over it in that correctly, the right number of brackets. So go in there. So the expectation of that all squared is now equal to 1 over p times 1 minus p. OK, now for our kramer rayo lower bound. So our p, parameter p, we'll call it tilde p for this parameter, is greater than or equal to 1 over n times now this here is a reciprocal so just be careful of that that's a reciprocal in there don't just write that in 1 over p times 1 minus p just make that nice and neat so this now becomes this will now go on to the top p times 1 minus p and then all divided by n. And that's going to be, be our kramer rayo lower bound. Okay, 